This is the 2022 range of motorhomes from French manufacturer Challenger. Challenger is exactly the same as Chausson. This is the N194 Start Edition and the first person who writes down the name of the equivalent one in Chausson format will have their comment pinned by me. So, it'll be at the top and you will become famous. 56,000 in excess of uh, the cost of this van, six meters by 210 centimeters wide. Yes, that's right, it's only 210 centimeters wide. That is pretty good, in my opinion. I'll ask the dog what she thinks, and I'm sure she would agree as well, or she could say, that's not enough room for me. Anyway, not to say, not enough room for her. Sideboard here. I had one of these in my van, and I took it out. Kitchen, well, you know, six meters, not bad, you know, two burners, I mean, but you got a quick large sink, don't think I'd complain that, width-wise bed as well, okay, 210 centimeters on the outside, so it's going to be, what, about 190 on the inside, if that, I noticed the, uh, the, the mattresses don't quite fit, but hey, so what, uh, you can stick something down the back there, and it'll fit then. And storage around there. Now I'll show you what these storage things look like. How about that? Look at all of that depth you got in there. That's that's all right. And we'll now have a look into the washroom. Look at a big window. Not window. What they call it? Mirrors. A window's thing you look out of, and a mirror's a thing you look at yourself at, which will becomes a false wall. Becomes a false wall. Here, actually, I'll do it like this. All right. Oh, it does work. Sorry, it does work. Unfortunately, that goes there like that. Even the shower. Let's see if the shower works. Bear in mind, I have a little back on my back, so there's a view of that. You don't see me. Here's me. There's me in the shower. Got all this space here. here I'll just close the door. Don't mind so much closing the door in the morning. I don't want to close the door in the evening, just in case I got locked in or something. Which has happened, did happen one year. <laughs> and I, I, I videoed it. I, left it, I left it all up on the video. And anyway, good, there we go, see? So that's not too bad, is it? Right, toilet, I have to put this back. Toilet's down there. Don't like false walls, because they tend to break. Two drainage holes, not bad. There's a, a mirror, okay. I think this looks alright actually. Oh. There's a can fridge. This is the first can fridge I have seen in action in a motorhome. It's not in action, probably it's turned off, but it's the first one I've seen. More storage here. Now, I'm unable to say how good this van is, or the quality of it. I mean, when, sometimes you can tell quality when you see the things are falling to bits, so you can tell that, but uh, I'm always unwilling to talk about quality of build in my vehicles. Uh, in my videos, but uh, having taken the quality thing out of it, I think that this vehicle isn't too bad at all. I'm not certain if I can get a bike in there though, but uh, that door's smaller. That's quite a nice little van, in my opinion. Mattress is already a little bit grubby. Just now, I'll just see if this one is as well. Out of curiosity, maybe, may, maybe it's the grubby look. Little window there, none on the other side. That is, I would say, a useful plan.
you park it more places. I think I quite like that one. All right, I want to show you another sort of narrow, useful little van, which is this one here, the X150. The dog did an, uh, a review of this when it came out, and I shall now take you inside and also give you the cost. This is a six meter van, and it, oh, 71,000, oh, it's not. This is promoted as being a motorhome, which is like a camper van. Really thin, you see, even though it's so thin, you've got this huge table, you've got plenty of seating. Don't know why you want plenty of seating if there's only two people in the van, but uh, it's got plenty of seating. This, uh, this will go in. Might need two hands for that, but uh, you can sort of walk up and down there when that's in. Easily, in the kitchen, two burners, preparation space, storage underneath. And if I walk to the back, you've got a toilet. You've got this funny thing here. There's the shower. And if you're claustrophobic, actually this wouldn't be much of a problem. There you go. Hey, I'll, t I'll, I'll turn it around and see me. There's me in the van, and uh, oh, it, is, it is a bit awkward, even with the water. There. You've got also some storage, so some storage. Sorry, sink. And here's the storage. Not so keen on these sinks, but that's me in a, in a vehicle of this side, size. You haven't got a lot of space. There's the toilet. Um, there's the flush. Hey, and there's the light. I'm going to turn the light out. Sliding door. Cleverly placed wardrobe. And look at the size of that. Remember the size as well. It's really. And you've got all of these boxes down there. Fridge here. Oh, sorry, more. Which I can't open. But never mind, I'm not going to force it. You've seen a fridge before. Clever van, eh? From Challenger. But, I do need to point it out, it is rather expensive. And uh, so I, what I really like about this is you can park this absolutely, not absolutely anywhere, you can park this in lots of places, which you wouldn't get a wider van into. You can, um, easier to drive. People are worried about driving vans the first time, uh, which I don't perfectly understand. Uh, then this will be a nice introduction to driving a, 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 a camper van or a motorhome. Uh, particularly a motorhome, so I think I, I like I like those things. And I can understand that getting in a van from a car, from a car which might be what 175, 180 centimeters in width, I don't know exactly, and to not even that, no, but even even shorter, maybe 160, to uh, to getting into a, a vehicle which is 70 centimeters wider. I think that must be a bit of a shock for many people. And but anyway, so this is a good way to start. If you're thinking about using a van for the first time, um, remember you have to drive it, so that could be worth considering. Okay, let's see if the bed works. I was a bit hesitant to do this, but we'll see. No, it's not connected. Sorry. No, it's not connected. Okay, I understand that. Right, so uh, I'll go back to the start of the show, even though I spent more, more time in this X150 van. But let's go back to this one here, which I think is a particularly uh, 
interesting proposition. So this vehicle here, the S194 Start Edition, and I usually don't find these when they say the word start, I find it a bit pointless, but in this case, yeah, for the reason I've just given, uh, it could help somebody start in a motorhome. Thanks for watching, and regards from Germany.